But here's the thing, we can't do this alone. Businesses need to want to succeed. I know that sounds crazy, but it's not. You need to want to succeed. You need to participate in downtown and area events. You need to market yourselves and invite people into the area. Invite people into downtown and invite them into your shops and businesses. Let's vow today to strike a positive pose together and promote the best in the area. As a business that has everything from washing machines to iguanas. To iguanas. <laughs> Hardware to clothes and everything in between. If you haven't gone into the store and could not find your way back out, you haven't seen all they have to offer. Our Retailer of the Year, Pick and Shovel. The amount of energy and enthusiasm that they had was just contagious. And coming from me, that is a lot. Um, but what more important is how much they want to reach out into the community and help the community with various events and their continued involvement in the activities and it's growing along with their company and I think they're going to be a huge asset to our community going forward. So we'd like to present this award here to James Walsh and Alexis Carpenter coming up on behalf of RDI for Employer of the Year. standing here as governor today, uh, 20 years ago I didn't have a political bone in my body. Uh, there are some mornings I wake up and have that same feeling. <laughs> but as an owner of a construction business uh, for more than three decades, I, uh, I found myself very frustrated with Montpelier, uh, and uh, I'm sure that's shared amongst some of you uh, on any given day. Um, but I, uh, I started complaining a lot about what they then were doing to me in Montpelier. And finally, I decided, I looked myself in the mirror and thought, instead of complaining so much, uh, maybe I should step up. Maybe I should add my voice, because obviously we need more uh, business people in Montpelier. I still feel uh, that's the case today, that we don't have enough people uh, who have been in business in, uh, in Montpelier. For years, uh, we've seen, on average, we have six fewer workers in our workforce every single day. When we wake up, there are six fewer than the day before. Um, we have, since 2009, we have 15,450 fewer workers in the workforce uh, than we did then. And when you think about what that really represents, those are the folks that buy homes, have families, utilize services, buy products, and pay taxes. So if they don't, uh, if they're not there, and they're not paying taxes, it puts the burden on the rest of us who are still standing. So that's a concern. The, the three number is we have three fewer kids in our K-12 education system every single day than we did the day before. We lose a thousand kids a year. So when you look back uh, about, uh, about 25 years, we have 30,000 fewer students than we did then. We, were, we had 103,000 students uh, back, uh, back 25 years ago. Today, today in total, we have about uh, 76,000. So that's a problem. 
And uh, the one is probably the most concerning uh, because we have one baby born to addiction every single day.